Hi all, welcome back to another video. So let's discuss about how to create a bill of material. A bill of material is a document that defines the quantity of each component required to make or deliver a finished product. It can also include various operations and individual step guidelines needed to complete a production process. In Odoo manufacturing, multiple BOMs can be linked to each product so that even product variants can have their own tailored BOMs. Correctly setting up a BOM helps optimize the manufacturing process and save time. So let's see how to create a bill of material and let's consider an example of making of a chair. First, let's get into the module. So under this, we can just navigate into the products and let's consider the example of creation of a chair. So while creating a chair or making a chair, we need different components such as bolt, screw, wood and uh, chair leg and all these components all together makes a chair. So we can create a bill of material directly from a product form or we can also create a bill of material from the product menu. Here we can see an option of bill of material. So let's check how to create a bill of material from the product form. So for that, we are going to create a final product called wooden chair. So here we have an option to add the bill of material. So when you go to the bill of material, let's see uh, here we can create a new button and you can create new. So as you choose the uh, product and within that the uh, BOM, you can see Odo has automatically configured the product over here. So if you have any product variants associated with this product, you can choose that and the quantity that you want to make also can choose here. Now, let me add a component. So you can click on add a line and in order to add the component, so we need screw. Um, so in order to make one quantity of chair, you need 10 uh, screw and the other products are bolt and I require 10 bolt then we need uh, wood in order to set the seat of the uh, chair so you can see we only need one quantity and we also need chair leg so we can set the chair leg we know that a chair will contain four leg so you can set the quantity accordingly so I'm letting the quantity to be 4 and here you can also set a reference uh, for this BOM. So you can set the reference as ABC and you can also choose a BOM type. So let me choose a BOM type as manufacture this product. So um, we will be manufacturing our product uh, while we are receiving a manufacturing order. After that, we have operations. Under operations, uh, currently we don't have any operations and we also need to include the work center. So we already discussed about how to uh, add work center. So if you have any doubt regarding the creation of work center, please do watch that video. Um, that uh, video link will be provided in the I button. So let me add uh, the operations right now. So for that, let's save this. So after saving this, you just move to the configuration menu and under that you can see operations. So while creating, uh, I mean, while making a chair, we have different operations. So let's create different operations here. You can give the uh, name of uh, the operation and you can choose the bill of material. So here you can see the bill of material and here you can also set the work center. So drill station uh, 2 is the work center that I have uh, previously created so you can uh, choose that work center and you can also set uh, the duration computation so here we have two options to set the duration computation uh, in order to perform that operation so if you set it as compute based on track time here we need to set the last work orders time and default duration so here i wish to set it as set duration manually and i'm setting it as 13 minutes okay after that, you can also set the worksheet and uh, letting uh, the worksheet to be in text form, you can have three options such as PDF, Google Sheets and all, I mean Google Slides and all. If you have 
uh, more informations or if you want to provide additional information regarding this operation you can provide this in the description field after that you can save this and you can also create uh, further operations so we also need to assemble the parts and choose the bill of material after that create uh yeah we have to choose one more uh one more work, work center here so assembling parts will be from another work center now let me create uh, the final operation that is finishing process and choose the bill of material you can also choose the work center so let me choose assembly line one as a work center and let me save this and when you back to the bill of material as we have discussed before we can manage the bill of material from the product menu you can um, get that through the product menu and here you can see uh, the bill of material that we have created and when you navigate into the operations here you can see uh, the bill of material that we i mean uh, the operations uh, that we have created under this bill of material okay now uh, let me back to the product wooden chair and you can make a calculation so we can uh, calculate the cost from the BOM so click on compute price from BOM so here we can see uh, the uh, we have computed the price from the BOM and uh, here you also need to ensure that you have set the product category and uh, the product category has a costing method uh, and you have set the inventory valuation as automated so this is the recommended way to set the inventory valuation after that let's back to the product and now let's create a work order for this so in order to create a work order which means uh, to create a manufacturing order just go to the operations menu and you can choose a manufacturing order so let me create a new manufacturing order as we choose the product uh, in the I mean as you choose the bill of material all other details will be automatically configured here let me uh, schedule a date so let me schedule uh, the date and yeah you can save the manufacturing order after saving that we can confirm the manufacturing order now everything is set and we have sufficient quantities of the product now let me confirm this so um, now we need to schedule the date so in order to schedule the date you can click on plan so we have planned uh, to schedule uh, I mean to manufacture this on the date we have provided in the scheduled date field now we can uh, make the work order so here we can see one of the step is ready so you can click on start so uh, when you click on start uh, the process or the operation has uh, started and once you have done with the operation you can just click on done so we have just completed the first operation now we can do the second operation which means while uh, you yeah, are manufacturing a, a chair you have certain operations uh, so first operations is currently done we have second operation as uh, the assembling the parts and once you finish the assembling parts you just click on 10 so that uh, that process will be finished or completed and you can also finally set these product into finished one like uh, the final stage so we are in the final operation and you can click on start and after completing that just click on 10 and everything is set now as we have completed all the operations you can just um, click on mark as done so that the manufacturing orders will be completed and you will get every details regarding this under the traceability so here you can see uh, the product uh, wooden chair has moved from production to the stock uh, with one quantity and under the product moves here you can see the number of quantity that has moved in order to manufacture a product wooden chair we can see uh, the product bolt screw uh, as well as chair like wood of the quantities mentioned in this window is moved from uh, the warehouse stock to the warehouse virtual location which means where a uh, virtual location of the product now let's back and you can see the valuation under valuation also you can see everything 
uh, the cost of each of the product and yeah under the cost analysis you could see uh, the cost of the components uh, with the quantities and all and uh, you can also uh, see uh, the cost of operations because we have set the operations uh, earlier and you can see all the operations here and if you want to print uh, this manufacturing order I and mean cost analysis of manufacturing order you can do so now let's see how it has affected the stock uh, journals so for that just go to the accounting module and under the accounting module we can see journal entries and under journal entries you would be able to see the cost uh, or how it has have affected the journal entries so when you choose this here you can see the uh, reference and under the journal items you could see the accounts that has have affected so stock in dream is a type of asset account so as the asset decreases the asset will be marked in the credit side and stock valuation is a form of asset account and as the stock valuation increases you can see it is shown in the debit side and that's all about uh, the creation of BOM and uh, the affecting of stocks and its journal so hope this concept is clear for you thank you for watching the video